Welcome to Brawlhalla. Hi guys, it's Kayla Cleo, and I'm going to be going through how to sign up for Brawlhalla tournaments on Smash.gg, as well as how to understand the website on Tourney Day. To sign up for tournaments, you're going to go to smash.gg slash Brawlhalla, or how I like to do it is through the game itself. So you're going to want to click the bottom right button that'll open a new tab. Hit the official button and find the tournament you want to sign up for. Now this will open up smash.gg with the exact tournament you want to be playing in. Hit register now and fill out the form with your information to sign up. Make sure you're filling out all your information correctly, and after checking out, you'll receive a confirmation email knowing that you've registered for the tournament. You can also go back to the game and hit the community tab to see any community tournaments you might want to sign up for, as well as power ranks of all the past tournaments sorted by region. Signing up for tournaments can be a little bit confusing, and I think this is the easiest way to do it. Before you play in the tournament, give the rules a little read. You're going to want to make sure you know and have an understanding of all the official rules, what the terminology is, what mods you're allowed to have, and as well as what game settings you'll need to know. On tourney day, you'll have about 30 minutes to check in for your tournament. Once you click the button, it'll turn gray and you'll know you've officially checked in. The night before tournament, I recommend logging in to smash.gg to see what time check-in is. It is not the time the Brawlhalla stream starts. It is a bit earlier, so you don't want to miss it. Once check-ins are closed, it'll let you know that brackets are being generated. Once completed, a box will show up to let you know that your bracket has started. Click go to event to go to the next page. This page will show you your current match, your bracket, as well as other information you might be interested in. So to check in for your actual game, you're going to click view match and it'll bring you to your game page. Make sure you check in for your game before the time runs out and you disqualify. While you're waiting for your opponent to check in, I recommend looking over the summary, tasks, and chat tabs just so you're familiar with everything you have available to you. If your opponent does not check in, they will automatically DQ and you will move on to the winner's round two. Click the button to move to your next match. While waiting for your opponent to finish their first set, I recommend looking over the brackets. You can see who's winning, losing, and see who you might be playing next. I usually make a new tab on my internet browser for my brackets. I like having both tabs up so I can easily hop between brackets as well as my game check-in. Hopping back over to my game tab, I can see my opponents checked in, so I want to make sure I do as well so I don't DQ. Now I'm waiting for my opponent to create the room code. Once I have that, I'll copy it, hit done, go to the game, join room, paste it, and now we're in the lobby together. Sometimes you'll be in charge of creating the lobby, so hit a custom private room, hit the settings button, lobby, and then choose tournament 1v1 or tournament 2v2 to have the official settings. Make sure you're giving your opponent the room code online so they know what room to go into. It's always nice to wish your opponent good luck in the game chat before your set starts, as well as if you have any questions, they might be able to answer them for you. Now you're both ready for your set to begin. You will typically be playing a set as the best of three, so whoever wins two games will be moving on. After each game, make sure you're marking who won and who lost on the website, as well as the match winner at the end. Make sure you hit that summary button so you can easily get to your next game. I am now in the loser's bracket. Once you've lost in both winners and the loser's bracket, you are now officially eliminated from the event. You can click your name to come to your tournament profile page. It'll let you know your place out of how many people played in the tournament, your wins, losses, set win percent, seed number, as well as tournament info from the past. Once you're done playing in the tournament, it's kind of fun to explore the brackets, see who's winning, losing, even search your friends and see how they're doing. Don't worry if you're confused with the website. It took me about three tournaments before I started feeling comfortable with it. Hopefully that helped you make the most out of your tournament experience, and maybe one day we'll be playing against each other. Skr skr!